Hey guys, this is Dazzle Table, and we are back with another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 video. And in today's Modern Warfare 2 video, we got the new update, the reloaded mid season update for Modern Warfare 2 yesterday. And we're going to be running through a few things that came out during the update, and the game just got a whole lot better. But if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you're not miss a single Call of Duty video. So firstly, it has been announced that multiplayer free access is available on the 15th of December to the 19th of December. So with that, you get free maps, you get shipment, farm 18 and out Assad, I think the name is. And there's four modes available for that free access and it's team deathmatch, kill confirmed, domination and hardpoint. So if you haven't played the game yet and you're not sure about whether you're going to get it for, say for Christmas, definitely go ahead, download this, absolutely free. Give it a few games, a few days playing it, and if you don't like it, obviously you're not going to get it. And if you do, then maybe grab a copy for Christmas. Okay, so firstly, we did get a new map. This is Shipment, the old classic from World War II. This map is a lot bigger than the Shipment we are used to. Obviously, we got Shipment with Vanguard where you can jump up on the crates. This one, you can't jump up on the crates, but the map is a lot bigger, so you won't get killed as many times as you did on the previous ones where they just spawn traps. And yeah, you just got killed every probably few seconds sometimes on that map. Now, there has also been a leak that Holiday Shipment will return. We obviously got it in Vanguard, and it's going to be released on the 21st all the way through until January 4th. So the map's just going to be Obviously, there'll be Christmas decorations on the map. And, yeah, it's, let's see what that's like. It, I have seen a little spoiler of it. It does look pretty good, actually. So we'll have to jump into that and see how good that Christmas shipment map is. Now, with this reloaded update, we did also get a weapon. We got the Chimera Assault Rifle. To unlock this one, I think you have to get two kills in 15 games. But, fortunately, you can actually get two kills, leave the game, and you will unlock the rifle. So there's a little tip for you, jump into a game, shipment obviously, get two kills, jump out and jump in again for the next 15 games. And it'll only probably take 10 minutes to do that, depending how quick or how long it takes to load into a game. We also got raids added to this as well. It's a, a new co-op PvE mode dropped alongside Season 1 Reloaded update. Uh, I think you, get, you can unlock a special skin. I think it's a brand new operator and yeah, if you complete it in the hardest difficulty, you will unlock some more operators available. So it'd be interesting to see what raid is. I haven't played it, but I'm going to jump in and probably play it today. Also coming up, we have got a two times XP event. It's from the 12th to the 19th. So we get a fair few days, obviously a week to get double XP. So if you haven't ranked up enough already, obviously your ranks will get reset from 250 all the way back down. So you will have to rank up. I never got nowhere near 250 on this game, but it's good if you are trying to get to that top rank. Now, a thing that I did moan about quite a lot was that they didn't have the XP token timer. They have now added that into the game so you can see how long you have got left on the when you do activate your XP tokens, which is a really good feature they've added. Should have been in from the start, but I'm pleased that they've added it now. Obviously, one thing they didn't add is combat records. It did say that they are still working on it, so obviously they've still not finished it, which is completely ridiculous. I'm hoping they get this sorted very soon because we want to see the decent combat records, see our KDs and the score per minute. So hopefully we get that in the, probably season two now, I would have thought. And that's pretty much it for the multiplayer. They have got a new DMZ type challenge that you can do. You go into this lab and I think you can extract a weapon. You can extract that new Chimera gun if you don't want to complete the challenges in the multiplayer. So I'm pleased that they've, ad they've updated it because it did get a little bit stale. But DMZ, I'm sure they will update it quite often. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do. They've also added Warzone 2, Warzone Cup, LTM. It's a bit like Rocket League where you're in ATVs and you're just trying to hit the ball into the guards. I've had a little go. It's not the greatest, but I suppose it's something a bit different. Uh, and that is basically everything. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Hopefully we get some more updates in the near future, and obviously we're going to be doing some World War II on the channel, so stick around for that. But thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.